Lomachenko versus Comney, and your thoughts on that, George? Yeah, it's a good fight. That's a good fight. I think Lomachenko is going to be too much for him. He's out for, for vengeance. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to fighting Lomachenko next because, you know, you can see what he's doing. He's, he's, yeah. he's taking the guys that Lopez fought, but uh, obviously he's going to want these belts. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll give him the shot, him or Devin Haney or you yeah. know, whoever, whoever makes sense. Um, but maybe he'll want to get one back for Lopez without the belts. I'm looking forward to fighting Lomachenko next. George Cambosis can never be undisputed without this fight. So this is the fight to make. We're ready to go. Breaking news, Vasil Lomachenko has officially withdrawn from the George Cambosis fight on June 5th. Lou DiBella, who is the manager of George Cambosis Jr., has stated that they are now pursuing the Devin Haney fight next for undisputed. So I hate to tell you guys, I told you so, but I told you so. I told you guys that Lomachenko was out weeks ago. But what I forgot to tell you all is that old media was going to twist the story in order to make Vasil Lomachenko look like a hero. Meaning it's highly unlikely that the news of Lomachenko being approved to leave Ukraine is even true. But who cares? Old media could make all types of narratives. However, at the end of the day, or at least the night, ducking season is over for Duck Bosis. As everything I have reported has came to fruition, proving my sources to be the most credible, aka new media. Every single thing I have reported was 100% accurate. More importantly, now George Combosis went from being as quiet as a church mouse back to lying again. Which what tends to happen when someone lies, they have to continue lying in order to cover up their previous lies. Now we already witnessed Combosis lying, where he got exposed by his own promoter Lou DiBella when their lies overlapped. However, now that Lomachenko is officially out, all of a sudden, George Mouse Combosis came out of the church where he's no longer quiet. In order to attempt to save face by changing the story that some way somehow Devin Haney been ducking him this entire time, Combosis really believes the public are a bunch of fools that will believe anything. Like we don't have receipts stacked up of Combosis contradicting and lying plenty of times. Even Stevie Wonder can see the cap a mile away coming from George Combosis. So without wasting any time, let's dive in straight to the freshest cap out of the oven by George Combosis and air him out with his own words. Combosis said, quote, you were offered it months ago and you played around. In the meantime, the great man Vasil Lomachenko made it very simple to do anything to make it happen and it was a done deal. But Loma now has a bigger fight ATM, which I totally respect. So let's see how much of your word is true. End of the quote. First of all, the zone revealed that Devin Haney has already agreed to the George Combosis fight and all of his terms, where they only waiting on George Combosis. Second of all, listen to what Combosis just said. The devil is in the details. Combosis can't have it both ways. He told Devin Haney at the end, let's see how much of your word is true. But why wasn't this the case months ago when Devin Haney made that tweet? When Devin Haney said, I'm going to take the exact same thing Lomachenko took. Quote, I will take the same offer. Why was George Combosis as quiet as a church mouse then? All of a sudden, now when Lomachenko is out of the picture, Combosis is the loudest one in the room. He's the elephant in the room talking. But when Devin Haney accepted the same offer Loma did and agreed to all of Combosis' terms, then asked Combosis this question a couple weeks ago, quote, Team Combosis has had an offer for quite some time now. Why the cold feet all of a sudden? Question mark. At George Combosis and at Lou DiBella. Where was George Combosis then? Why was he as quiet as a church mouse? Now all of a sudden, He's the elephant in the room talking. I tell you where he was. He told on himself. He agreed to a two fight deal to fight Vasil Lomachenko. Like he said, it was a done deal. Therefore, if Devin had an offer the whole time and he did not take it, why didn't Combosis respond to Devin Haney? Why was he as quiet as a church mouse begging Vasil Lomachenko 
to leave Ukraine, where he put his career on hold, waiting on Vasyl Lomachenko and begging him to leave his country, even though his country is in war. He wanted to fight a man that was in war. So now that Lomachenko is officially out, the walls are closing in on Combosis to fight Devin Haney. Therefore, he's back lying again in order to hide his duck face, to save face from the fact that he was forced to fight Devin Haney. The only bad part, he's terrible at lying where his own lies don't even make logical sense. Then Combosis back trolling again, where he stated, quote, when the gate is closed, the little dog barks and is full of energy, but let's see. When the gate is fully open, if the little dog is still has the same bark and energy, TikTok. Few minutes later, Devin Haney responded, unlike Combosis, who stayed quiet as a church mouse for months, whenever Devin Haney was tweeting him, it's the contrary with Devin. Whenever you say smoke, Devin Haney popping up. Like I said, few minutes later, Devin Haney responded by stating, quote, my energy will forever be the same. You were forced into this position. Let's not confuse the people. End of the quote. Then Combosis responded by stating, quote, good. See you in Melbourne. Therefore, you guys see it. Finally, George Combosis agrees to fight Devin Haney next. We shall see for the last time if George Combosis is a man of his word. And the moment you think Combosis was backed into the corner where he's forced to use his cojones, if he has any, all of a sudden Combosis tries to talk Devin Haney from beating his ass by stating, quote, Oh, she's a long one. Done it countless times across the Pacific. 19 hours and 35 minutes flight. So Devin Haney violated Combosis by stating, I know how long the flight is. Long as my D. Don't try to talk me out of it, B. I'm on my way. End of the quote. <laughs> Y'all smell what I smell? Because I smell a P. Respectfully. Like, what the... Why is Combosis telling Devin Haney about the flight and trying to discourage him from taking the fight because of a flight? Who even thinks or talks like that? That's pure duck talk. Furthermore, you notice how ESPN Mike Coppinger reported that Devin Haney has been offered the undisputed lightweight title fight with George Combosis on June 5th. Sources tell ESPN. Hold on a second. I thought George Combosis said he sent Devin Haney an offer months ago. However, ESPN sources say the offer was only sent now. Another lie getting busted. Remember, forget about he said, she said. The Zone revealed that they sent Combosis an offer months ago, where they be in the middleman. So it's not Combosis sending an offer, so on and so forth. It's the zone, which means Combosis has an offer sitting on his desk collecting dust in order to fight Devin Haney next for undisputed. However, according to my sources, Combosis now wants more money than ever if he's forced to fight Devin Haney, not Lomachenko, which like I said in the past, this is so reminiscent to the Jojo saga with Devin Haney. Jojo beat Fortuna to become Devin Haney mandatory then after that, he did everything in his power to get out of the Devin Haney fight. In fact, he actually did. Golden Boy announced that Ryan Garcia will officially be fighting Jojo Diaz. Then out of nowhere, Ryan Garcia pulls out of the fight, leaving Jojo Diaz without a dancing partner. So Devin Haney came and saved the day like Superman, where Jojo was forced to take the fight then. Fast forward to this day, Combosis did exactly what Jojo did and it backfired on him just like Jojo. According to Bob Arum, Combosis had already agreed to a deal to fight Lomachenko in principle before Lomachenko left to Ukraine. And just like Ryan pulled out of the Jojo fight, Lomachenko also pulled out of the Combosis fight due to the war in his country. Now George Combosis is stuck and forced to fight the boogeyman, the A-class boogeyman, Devin the Dream Haney. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Well, why should he? He's got to have the biggest fight possible, and 
Now that's for the undisputed. Undisputed is more important than Lomachenko. Of course it is. George Cambosos can never be undisputed without this fight. I mean, Lou has to look out for his fighter. He's been a gentleman in all of this. And uh, there's always tomorrow. So Camboza can get another opponent and hopefully wins and then can fight uh, uh, Loma later in the year, assuming the conflict uh, has been resolved.